another day another cigar hello everyone my name is Jose Sweet welcome back to my channel welcome back to another episode of Sweet Cigar Reviews it's been a while since I last recorded one of these I know I've been posting a lot of my older stuff that I've recorded uh, but now we're getting to the brand new stuff so the cigar we're gonna be smoking today is very near and dear to my heart because I am a huge fan of this company I have a lot of their merchandise I smoke a lot of their cigars and overall I just love uh, I love this company they were one of the first uh, few brands that I got into and you know now I smoke their cigars pretty often so of course I'm talking about the Perdomo 12 year double H vintage I love almost all Perdomo cigars there no fuck it I love every single cigar that Perdomo comes out with. It's always going to be a really good smoke. It's amazing Nicaraguan tobacco. It's just, you know, you can't go wrong with a Perdomo cigar. Everything from their small batch to the Lot 23, uh, the 20th anniversary, 10th anniversary, the Noir. Uh, there's just a ton of their smokes that are just so, so good. And I've enjoyed every single one of them. So today will be no different. I've smoked this cigar before, but I thought I'd uh, film a review of it. So today will be no different. So today will be no different. I'm going to be smoking the cigar. I have smoked this cigar before, but instead I turn on the camera and make a review of it so that I can convince some of you out there who haven't had this cigar yet to try it out. So getting into the specs of the cigar, the cigar does have its origins in Nicaragua. It's made by Perdomo Cigars. The wrapper, binder, and filler are all Nicaraguan tobacco. So this is a Nicaraguan Puro. It comes in this beautiful Maduro wrapper right here, which um, if I have to comment on this, it's just so, it's beautiful. It's not oily, it's just really beautiful. The cigar overall is very firm to the touch. Um, I see no imperfections, tight visible seams. It's just a really beautifully constructed cigar. I actually almost didn't make this review. I was actually preparing to smoke this cigar. So I had already given it a straight cut right here. So we're just gonna go in for the cold draw and let's go ahead and get a light and let's start smoking the cigar because that's what these reviews are for. Let's stop talking about all these different stories and all this stuff. Let's get into the cigars. So here we are going in for the cold draw. Off of the cold draw, immediately I pick up some hints of like cocoa and hints of like cedar. So those are the two main notes that I'm picking up right now in this cold draw and overall you know, smelling the cigar itself, sweet taste of tobacco, I mean the sweet smell of tobacco, and also that subtle like hint of cocoa in the wrapper. This cigar does have a really, really good draw on it so far. I have no issues getting air, you know, through this thing. And I think it's also because I chose a straight cut for this instead of a V cut like I normally do. But um I can just say that's that's something else to, to say about the construction of the cigar. It's just the, the draw is also just really, really good. All right, so I got my Perdomo lighter here. Let's uh, let's light the cigar. Or, no, 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 no. Sorry. Sorry. I, I see the cigar nerds already commenting. Are you, are you going to toast the cigar first? Are you going to toast it before you light it? And, yeah, I, I am. My opinion on this kind of fluctuates uh, if you look at all of my videos. You'll see I go from, yes, you should toast your cigar, to no, you don't have to toast your cigar, to now I'm back to, yes, you should. It's kind of an on and off thing. My personal experience is that, um, you know, just why, why bother? But other times it is really worth it to go ahead and, you know, do those small steps. You know, toasting the cigar doesn't take too long. It's not going to you know it's not gonna like ruin your day because you know you have to do that you didn't get to you know just uh, straight up lighting it you know and smoking it like that so you know toasting it this time around yeah you should you should try toasting your cigars so I'm just gonna activate the flame here I'm gonna hold it five to six inches away from the uh, the flame and I'm just gonna let it just gonna let the foot kind of uh, start to get, you know, um, turn from like black, like it'll it'll start turning black, and then it'll start turning white, and then you kind of see like in the background, 
you see like this deep red that's gonna come out. So once that happens, you're ready to light your cigar. And it's always important, which this is why I've gone back to toasting your cigar, because it is important that you light the foot, the entire foot of the cigar, before you smoke it. Because if you don't, you're gonna run the risk of, you know, one one portion of it's gonna be, you know, going up here while the rest is down here, and it's gonna be a horrible to experience. So toasting and making sure the entire foot of the cigar is lit beforehand is going to be the biggest help in preventing uh, that kind of stuff from happening when you're smoking your cigar. And you see, with a lighter like this, you don't need to have it super, super close. You can already see that the foot is starting to kind of char up a bit here. You might not see it immediately, but it's happening. And you can see that the foot is starting to turn black. You're starting to see a little bit of white spots here kind of coming up and we're just gonna keep doing this until the entire foot is white all right so most of the foot here is white uh, just a center portion has a little bit of black spots but when we start drawing out of the cigar that's gonna fix itself so let's get into what is now officially the lighting of the cigar another thing that helps is to blow into the foot uh, after you've already kind of drawn out from the cigar kind of want to blow the foot as well just to get those embers and the, uh, the tobacco uh, lit you know just to give it some extra air so that it can continue to stay lit you see now it's completely almost completely white right there so that is the optimal um, state that you want to have your cigar in uh, your optimal smoking experience now one last tip I want to leave y'all before we actually get into the cigar Another good thing that's gonna help you out is uh, blow through your cigar while you're lighting it. Like, let me show you. My, my light is already pretty hot, but I'm gonna try to do this and not burn my hand. But, uh, you know, here you go. Did you see that little bit of blue flame right there that kind of came out? I don't know why, but, and I forget what video I saw, but there was another cigar review uh, YouTuber who um, I think the guy has his own shop or something, but he said in a video, it was like, just, you know, just blow, blow through your cigar. And I did it and the cigar was smoking. It was something that I really didn't like too much, but I just had it. So I decided to smoke it. I blew through it and immediately it changed the taste of the cigar. It made it from something that was just kind of like bearable to, damn, this is a really good cigar. So I don't remember who, but I know uh, me and a few other people who have watched that video, uh, we've all been doing the same thing with our cigars, turning cigars that are initially lame into something that's really, really good. And I think it's just a good tip overall with any cigar that you smoke, just blow through it. It blows through it while you're lighting it. I don't know why. There might be some kind of chemical or, or, or gas or something that uh, while blowing through it is going to get rid of it or, or something like that, you know? Uh, but it really does improve the taste of your smoke. And there we go. Plenty of smoke right here. Already breaking into the first third here. Um, what I'm immediately noticing, it's very... Um, it's very chocolatey. Definitely a full-bodied cigar. It's not really uh, strong, but it just has that level of boldness, and I think that kind of comes from the um, all of the Nicaraguan tobacco, especially the wrapper here. Um, it's just a really bold flavor. It's very chocolatey, like a dark chocolate. And right now, I'm not noticing any any cedar notes. But overall, in this first third, it's going really, really well, and it's smoking wonderfully. On this retro hill, I pick up some notes of coffee as well, and it's like um, it's like freshly ground coffee. But so far, so good. The cigar is just smoking wonderfully. I'm already getting some beautiful ash here. Uh, it's not super super even, but I'm optimistic that it will even itself out as I continue smoking this cigar So let's move on to the second third. I'll update you guys when I get there. All right So we're almost done with the second third of the cigar Mainly what I've noticed out of this is that in the first third 
it was a little bit harsh to retro hail. Getting into the second third is a lot easier now. And I think that's kind of opened up some more flavors. I really noticed that coffee really comes out. The cocoa really comes out. And the cedar is kind of taking a back note, but it kind of adds on to, to that cocoa. It's just, you know, it's such a good concoction of, of flavors coming together in this cigar. And really, if I'm honest, but I don't really, it's kind of like on the tip of my tongue. I kind of pick up a little bit of caramel here too. It's kind of sweet as well, like in the finish. Um, so overall, this has really just been a really amazing full bodied smoke. The ash on this thing too, um, it, it has a beautiful solid ash. Uh, and I keep tapping it off because uh, <laughs> I've had bad experiences with ash in the past and I'm not looking to ruin my clothing or ruin the floor. You know, I don't want to do, I don't want to pick up ash. So I've gotten a good half an inch uh, or a little bit more of ash and it's solid and it just kind of, just kind of comes straight off. Once it gets to the ash tree, you just kind of roll it up a little bit, roll it around and it comes clean off. But yeah, overall the cigar is really, really good. We're getting to the part we're gonna have to take the band off. And I always try to wait to this part because a lot of the times the glue on these uh, on these bands is just, you know, it's kind of still very uh, hard and smoking the cigar, letting the cigar heat up as you get closer to the band, uh, it kind of helps to heat up that glue and it makes it easier to take the band off. I know a lot of people say, I think, well, not a lot of people, but I've seen some people say, you should never take the band off of your cigar. Uh, you know, you can risk uh, damaging the wrapper, uh, you know, because the glue is the main issue here. The glue might be a little bit hard to take off. And so when you're taking the band off, you're risking taking part of the wrapper here and that can really uh, affect your experience and that can cause your cigars to just not burn evenly. Fortunately, in this scenario, it didn't happen. I don't see uh, anywhere where the wrapper has been damaged. So we can continue smoking just fine, no issues. So let's continue smoking the cigar to the last third and let's see what else there is in this smoke. If there's any transitions or if there's anything else I have to add to this cigar. All right, everyone, that does it for this video. This was the Perdomo 12-year Double H Vintage. This is overall a very good cigar by Perdomo Cigars. Uh, really good full-bodied smoke, um, very chocolatey, very, um, you know, very good hints of coffee and hints of cedar. Um, overall, it was a really good smoke, and even in the last third, it wasn't really hot. So uh, I recommend this cigar to anyone who's looking to try it out. We have it here right now at the Leaf Cigar and Pipe Shop, located 3710 South Cannon Road, here in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. So come on by and try one out for yourself. Either way, this has been Jose Sweet with another episode of Sweet Cigar Reviews. Have a great day and a great cigar.